we go again, man. Now you hook up. Now you're lying about the length of the fishing pool. And uh, you gotta put the hooks on there first. So you pretty much go through the loop. You go to where you want your hook at. I normally put two hooks on there. That way if I do snag, it moves all of them. I'll move that many. And then you just wrap it around the hook a few times. And then you scoop it around the main hook like this, and then you put a knot. All right, and this hair is supposed to go on the water. Well, I'll do it one more time. And then this one you want to keep maybe two feet from where the sink is going to be at. So stick it to there. You wrap it around the main. One time, two times, it don't really matter. As long as you wrap it around the actual hook, then you just put a loop in it to hold it all together. There you go. And then your sinker. I try to keep it about maybe a foot and a half. Put two loops that way. I don't never loosen. Then I do this, put it through a sinker, and open the loop up, and then just that way you can always take the sinker off if you want to change the sinker and you don't have to cut your line. That's it. What size hook and sinker? Uh, man, I used to use the big hooks, but it, it creates more drag, so I use a size eight. And that way, if you do get snagged, you can kind of straighten them out. You don't lose your whole, you know, all your stuff. So, and the sinker depends on how much current it is. I, I like using 20 ounce because you don't have to let too much line out. So you can use up to 10, 10 ounces, you know. So that's it. Down is a fucking awesome. <laughs> 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 Here's 
Evil Paws Snagging Pole. With a Cabela's Depth Master uh, Bait Caster Reel with a line counter on it. Uh, this is 80 pound microfilament line, Power Pro. We have two size 8 treble hooks and a 20 ounce sinker. First thing you're going to do is pull out enough line to basically stretch the length of the pole. Then you're going to flip through the hook. And you're going to run this up to where you're just about two feet from the end of your pole. You're going to wrap the string around it two times and then go around each of the trebles. Once you've done that, loop it on the bottom. So that way, your hook hangs straight like this. One more time. We're gonna take our last hook, I only used two. Put it on here. You want it about two feet from that one and about two feet from your end. One more time, real slow. Wrap it around twice, then go over each bar. Straight down through the bottom. Now we have our hooks hanging straight. And then at your very end of your line, just tie a loop. Okay. Then at that loop, put that through your sinker. And you're ready to go. This is what your rig should look like when you finish. Okay.